Good morning. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday, right? Wednesday, March 19, 2025, 738 local time here in California. Latest activity at 1.3 into the California region. So let's go ahead and see what's going on there across the West Coast on this Wednesday. Uh, looks like we're still seeing a little bit of swarming going on here on the San Andreas Fault near Pinnacles. This has been an ongoing deal here, of course, with elevated earthquake activity up north. Uh, still got to be on guard out here for some larger activity in terms of bigger earthquakes, folks. I think uh, things are starting to just get into motion out here. Uh, some of these twos here from yesterday, um, one so far today, this morning, a little 1.4, majority of these from yesterday, but still within the 24-hour range uh, up here across the Hayward Fault in the area that uh, had a earthquake here just a couple days ago, a 3.9, that uh, earthquake there in the red because of the felt reports a lot of people felt that uh, earthquake and uh, it was positioned in between the hayward fault and the calaveras fault zone both of those are showing a couple smaller quakes here on it today so just be on guard northern california handful of earthquakes returning to the area as well <coughs> excuse me 3.6 last night and a couple other twos this morning got uh some deeper activity returning to the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, look at this quake right here, 15 miles deep underneath the area, a little bit further up north. So Going to watch this area of the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. It has partial ruptures uh, on a regular sooner time period compared to full ruptures of the Cascadia, which result in a 9.0. Uh, that happens between 250 and 500 years. The last one was a uh, a big one back in 1700, nine pointer, or at least a nine pointer uh, for a full rupture. The partial ruptures down here, uh, they happen uh, a little bit on the more uh, regular side and they can result in an 8.4, 8.5 earthquake here. So gotta be on guard for that. Definitely showing some signs of a uh, little bit of uh, strain out there. It's been noticeable, uh, in fact, across the entire West Coast. Uh, let's go ahead and check out extreme Southern California here, see if there's anything major going on. Uh, no major swarm, nothing above 2.5. Uh, as far as I can see here, most of the movement is up north there along the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault. Uh, for the rest of the country, as you can see out here, uh, a couple earthquakes. One earthquake here yesterday in, in uh, Arizona. A little odd earthquake out there, 3.2, but there is fault systems out here. It takes a, you know, a whole lot of time there for some slip to build up in uh, these inland fault areas but uh, occasionally they do get earthquakes out there the texas oil fields and whatnot still getting hit a little bit lighter today though not as uh, populated for the earthquake count and also out around the elgin south carolina area 1.6 early this morning here this is the area that had a, a pretty good earthquake swarm uh, a couple years back here it sits outside a major seismically active zone there across the charleston area this is a uh, it had some big earthquake activity here uh, a while back, obviously, but uh, this just goes to show you here that, uh, you know, that uh, fault area is still very much alive. All right, take a look here at the global view, some movement up here across the Alaska area with a 4.7 earthquake coming in uh, this morning, also a five-pointer along the Aleutian Trench here. Uh, fairly shallow, 14 to 21 miles deep there into the subduction zone. As uh, far as the largest activity here in the last 24 hours, I believe that's going to be you know, South Sandwich Trench there from yesterday. Got a handful of quakes here down on that area. A five pointer, that's actually today, a five pointer there from today. If we do that, there we go. Uh, just about five o'clock this morning on the south side of the South Sandwich Trench. Getting a little bit of activity stirring up out here. Uh, in the last seven days or so, we got uh, most of it up north, one down south. Well, guess what happens here when you move the northern and the southern end? You get strain right here across the center portion of that subduction zone. And uh, so we should see that fill in, uh, if not if not by uh, tonight's update. So watch that, just, just remember that. Um, see what else we got out here uh, Italy's been having a little oh, actually uh, out around France a little bit of earthquake activity yesterday here 3.3 uh, and a 3.1 uh, we'll double check the Santorini area of Greece uh, let's see are they do they cover the France area 
guess they do a little bit. Um, where the earthquake activity struck, it's within this region here. Well, there's a little bit of swarming, but really nothing big. Uh, just a little increasing movement there across the France area. Uh, but far as the Santorini area goes, let's go ahead and zoom in there to this region. Uh, got uh, 287 earthquakes. The counts are going down because the uh, well, the earthquake um, multitudes there are going down each day. So nothing big. Uh, no elevated earthquake activity. The last one at 3.8. Uh, looks like it's outside of that area. Aside from that, some twos, even a couple threes in there. Just uh, just continuing to watch it. There's no change in that uh, right now. Real quick glance here at the space weather activity um, or lack thereof, right? Not a whole lot going on on the sun. Pretty much flat line there on the solar flare chart, as you can see. Got uh, a little bit of sea flare activity, but overall pretty quiet conditions there on the sun really not expecting any major flares a uh, quick glance at the magnetogram image here of the sun see what it has for today not a whole lot um, pretty quiet out there in terms of complex sunspots so really not expecting much there for uh, any major solar flare or even moderate solar flare not uh, likely moderate risk or enhanced area excuse me for some severe weather tornado potential up here across the uh, Illinois area today. Got uh, a hatched area for some spinning water vapor. That's tornado. So just be on guard out there today with these storms. A lot of cold air coming into this area of the country. Wind and a little bit of hail threats in there as well. Uh, but uh, overall after that things calm down a little bit. Uh, really, really not looking at any major severe weather after today. Uh, aside from that folks, um, I think that's all I got for right now. Just Kind of out enjoying a little bit of R and R here with Missy Mimi's, and um, trying to think if there's anything else here. I think that's about it. Uh, I guess we can check the asteroid approaches here. Let's see if I have those next five close approach asteroids. Shows us that looks pretty safe there folks quite a few millions of miles away for these listed on the chart here so uh, really nothing of any significance but of course they're always discovering these new asteroids here every single day uh, Mount Spur up there up in Alaska got uh, uh, they got a little bit of activity stirring up out there they believe magma is really close there to the surface we'll do a quick update on that see what we got for the latest update uh, sitting out of yellow, which is advisory. Uh, this update was put out uh, yesterday. Unrest continues there at Mount Spur. Seismicity remains elevated with numerous small, shallow volcanic earthquakes beneath the volcano over the past day. It uh, looks like there was a small steam plume origi origi originating. There we go. Don't need to be creating some new words there. From the summit, it was observed in clear satellite and webcam imagery. So just kind of monitoring it. Uh, they they believe this volcano there is getting closer to an eruption. So um, let's see what uh, transpires there. There's a web recorder. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity right now. This is from yesterday, it looks like. But uh, as always, we'll definitely keep an eye on it. Nothing showing up there on the visual cam either. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Have yourself a good day. We will see you guys back out here. Looks like a two-pointer coming into the oil fields right now, Texas. We'll see you back out here a little bit later on this evening. Take care.